is doing that. No, what? Say hi, Mr. Padfoot and Mooney. Oh, you give me five. Shake. Fist bump. Kiss. Oh, thank you. Go get your biscuit. Oh, I was so excited for this box that came today. And if you saw my previous video, my vlog slash post call video, um, you'll know why I'm a little stressed and my enthusiasm has waned. But um, I still want to do the unboxing video because I think it will make me feel better. I'm going to get a picture when I open this. I just love taking pictures of these. But, um, now, I haven't received my September 2016 Phantom of the Month Club box yet. This is a little different. I pre-ordered this one maybe like a month or two ago. Um, Aaron, who runs, owns, and creates the jewelry for Phantom of the Month Club, I guess she creates a jewelry. I don't know, but um, she has another site where she sells fandom jewelry similar to what she makes for Fandom of the Month Club, and it's called the Geeky Cauldron, and I will leave a link to both sites in the description box below, but this one, even though it says Fandom of the Month Club, came from her site called the Geeky Cauldron. Um, she was doing a set of one-off boxes that wasn't part of the subscription boxes. And it was Harry Potter themed. And it, the theme was Hogwarts houses. And when you order one of these, you had the option of choosing your house. And Slytherin representing. So, um, it came today. Uh, she was hoping that she would be able to get these sent out before she went into labor. And I think um, she's already off having her new baby. So, um, it was exciting to get this sooner than expected. Um, but, you know, considering what she's going through, I had no issue waiting otherwise. But I'm excited. It's here. Let's get it open. My trusty switch punisher switchblade is finally coming in handy. I gotta arm myself when I walk pad for it because the neighbors are trying to attack me. So, um. Hold on a minute. Sorry guys, I have to take my photographs. Is this what happens when you grow up with a father who was a professional photographer? Um, every, you gotta take photos of everything. Alright. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I get so excited taking pictures. Anyway, so you open the box and that's what you see. And this is their, um, it's not a spoiler card, it's just info on the back. But the other side is always an adorable mini print that tells you the theme of the box, or it's a clue to the theme of the box. Um, there's nothing hidden in your head that the sorting hat can't see. So try me on, and I will tell you where you ought to be. And I found a sorting hat online that's like a lifelike size sorting hat. I so have to get that. So, sweet. So now when you take that off, um, all the Phantom of the Month Club boxes have a magnet that goes along with the theme. And since I'm Slytherin House, we have a Slytherin magnet. And then you have your goodies wrapped in tissue paper. I never thought I was going to be into this box because I'm not a girly girl who likes a lot of jewelry. But my first box was the Sherlock box. 
and I fell in love. And this box is very reasonably priced. It is one of the most affordable fandom boxes out there, especially for fangirls. It's thirteen dollars, and it's maybe about three dollars shipping, something like that. And um. These are, you know, handmade crafted jewelry pieces, so um, this isn't something you can just find anywhere. And even if you went, like, on sites like Etsy and whatnot, handcrafted fandom jewelry is extremely expensive. So, um, this is a very affordable box. So, every, every Fandom of the Month Club box, when you unwrap the tissue paper comes in a little canvas bag and this one's Slytherin and at the top it gives a one of the Slytherin traits which is cunning I don't know how cunning I am but I'm a Slither girl and I wanted to get the Ravenclaw box but I didn't have enough money then but when I did have a little extra money I went to get the Ravenclaw box because I, I identify not so much as just Slytherin but Slither Claw is how I identify um, but they were already sold out. But I did get Slytherin, so I am happy about that. The first thing we have are, um, oh, you want to see? Well, come here. Our little snake earrings. Um, I, you should not get wear earrings like that. Um, but... Um, a fellow Phantom of the Month Club fan had told me about some plugs you can get that you can put the post earrings in. So it's a plug and then you can stick your earring in it. So now I don't have to get rid of my earrings. So those are really cool. The next thing we have is a sunken necklace. And there are two more items that are really, really awesome. I'm saving them for last. Not that these items aren't amazing. Everything in this box is always amazing. <clears throat> it's all tangled. And if you ever have any problems um, with any of your jewelry, if something comes broken or missing, all you have to do is email Erin and, man, she is on it and she sends out replacements like right away. Of course, keep in mind she's got a little one who's been sick and... Um, and she's about ready to give birth if she hasn't already so um, if you do subscribe and something's, anything's wrong and she doesn't email you back right away don't get upset at her she's, she's got her hands full she's very very sweet Can I, it's a necklace and I can't get it Untangled. It is like really bad tangled. And I'm not helping it any. You know, scrap, I'm going to untangle it later. And there will be a picture of it in the description box. Er, there will be a picture of it at the end of the video. But I will at least show you. The other part to it and it's got these three um, these three little bars and one says strong one says cunning and the other says slithering but it's all tangled up so um, I'll try to undo that and put a picture at the end of the video the next, and this is what I'm excited about. 
Oh, oh my god, I missed one under the table. But it is a Slytherin snake silver ring with little green stones for the eyes. And kind of tight on my little arthritic fingers. It's too big for that. But um, you can kind of gently pull these apart and make them a little bigger. There we go. That worked a little bit. But my hands are swollen with my arthritis, but I love that rink. Pretty good fit right there. A little tight, but I can play with it and get it get it set right. But that's really cool. I love that. Love rings. And the last thing that I'm so excited um, for, I love bracelets. And this is a very, very cool bangle bracelet. And it's got... Um, it says Slytherin, or perhaps in, let's see, or perhaps in Slytherin, you'll make, you'll make your real friends, these cunning folks, I can't really see it, my, I've got a headache from the stress, so I can't see, but then it's got a, it looks like, When I kind of look, there's a little ball that looks kind of like a snitch. Then we got a sorting hat charm and a little green gemstone. And here's the bracelet. And there's the little saying. There's the sorting hat that's a little ball that looks like the snitch and it's so tiny I can't get a hold of this dropping crap a little green gemstone so that is really really cool so pretty and Not quite sure how you put it on. Oh, it just slides on. So there we go. So that was. Um, I don't know why I said this was the September 2016 Phantom of the Month Club because that one hasn't even come yet, and um, I don't even know that there was a theme for that one, but. Um, this wasn't, this was just a, um, a one-off box for the Hogwarts houses, so that's what that was. I'm sorry, my bad, but, um, that was a really awesome box. I loved it. Um, I, I haven't got a box I didn't like. Um, I did, um, pass on the Wizard of Oz one I got a few months ago. I think that was my second or third box just because um I'm not a I wasn't a huge fan of the gold color jewelry I I'm a silver girl um plus I'm I love Wizard of Oz but not jewelry wise and somebody had wanted it for their mother's birthday so I can't you know I miss my mom so I couldn't say no to that so um I I sold it to them and but I've gotten Sherlock, I've gotten Lord of the Rings, and a previous Harry Potter box. Maybe two, I can't remember. I've gotten a few of these now. But I really love this one-off box, and I am so glad that I got it. Um, last I checked, and I don't know if these are still for sale, but as of last week, they still had these on the Geeky Cauldron site. They were sold out of Ravenclaw, but they still had Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. Like I said, there will be a link to uh, Phantom in the Month Club and the Geeky Cauldron in the description box below. But you'll find the 
um, Hogwarts houses one-off boxes on the Geeky Cauldron site, not Phantom in the Mud Club, but it's still from Phantom in the Mud Club. So, but that is it for us. Um, I just need to go cool off and de-stress from the really bad day I've had, bad two days I've had, and Boo Bear over here is so worn out. He's not used to being up all night and our house being over one with cops. So, yeah. Say crazy neighbors, crazy neighbors. Living like it's an episode of Cops or Jerry Springer over there. Go get it! Go get it! Go get it! You want it? There it is! Go get it! <laughs> what could I do? Say slither power! That's right. <laughs> trying to like over here. Subscribe! Sit! Give me a kiss. Sit down. Sit down, Pathway. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that, but when he went to sit down, he put his head down and kept his butt up. That was hilarious. I love when he does that. Why are you breathing heavy? Them steroids getting to ya? Alright, I won't tease you no more. Go on. Go get it. And that's it for us, guys. Peace. Go say bye-bye. Sit. 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 Good boy. Say bye.